Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can make this super easy and super fun DIY sticker book. Okay, so this is a video that I've been so excited to film because I'm just really excited to see how it comes out. I think it's going to work very well. And this idea, I just came up with it when I first like made my memo pad. So. Let's get into the video because I just really wanna, I've been excited for this video for like over a week now and I'm so excited to do it. Um, so you're going to wanna print out some pictures. Now I put these together and I'm probably going to leave a link down below where you can download this from my website. If it's not up, hopefully I have it up on time, but I just put these together. You can do this on your computer. You can do it on Word Docs or Canva or wherever. I just put all of these and I kind of chose some pictures that would look kind of similar because I wanted um like kind of a vintagey theme clocks and you know things like that so i have all of these and i'm glad that my printer didn't fail me and that it came out nice crisp and clear because sometimes it does those lines thing but that's usually when it's like a very big picture or something that i'm printing out that's really big but i'm really happy that it came out like this so we're just going to cut these down i have 50 pictures so that's going to be good because usually sticker books come with what like 45 pictures i think i'm not sure but we're just going to trim these down okay so i finished cutting them all and that took a lot longer than i thought but that's fine but they came out nice this is what they look like some of them still have like the white edges but that's fine gives a little character so now you're going to want to put them together any way you want is this like this but I'm just gonna do them, I'm just gonna put them together in no specific order. Okay, so I have all of my sheets now and you can leave it like this but i'm going to just do a little cover for it i'm going to just clip all the pages together so that they're intact i'm trying to i do this so that all the pages that, that might be at the bottom go down because this is the top just gonna get a clip and that looks pretty good like that pages look nice and straight it's fine if that comes out on the edge, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna glue these first and then work on the cover. But now we're going to get our Mod Podge or glue. You know, if you have, I'm not sure how it works well with like regular liquid glue, but I have this Mod Podge. This sticks very, very well. So I'll leave this down below if you guys don't have it at your local craft store, but I'm sure you do. So we're gonna get the Mod Podge. And you're gonna get a brush. I like to use a little bit of water with the glue just to make it more liquidy. So it's not so thick and it kind of like runs down the pages. And we're going to apply it to the top base of the pages like this. Now I'm sure you guys have seen me do this. I've, I put a video on my shorts of me doing this little stamp booklet with the remaining strips of paper that I had from a project. So that's just what we're going to do. And you can put as much glue you want. I like to do a few layers. I like to make sure everything's coated. I like to put a little bit on the sides here so that gets coated as well. Don't worry, when you rip the pages, the glue will not stay on there. But now I like to get another clip and I like to put it at the top. That way, while it's gluing, it's gluing as close together as it can. So I like to do that. And then I'll just leave it there for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or until it just looks completely dry. And I'll be right back, guys. Okay, so I finished with the little book. It's already finished drying. And I actually did a different set just because the other one came out kind of messed up. And I did it differently. But um, since this is already dry, we're going to be working on the cover. And you have to be careful because the glue might stick to the clips that you put on. So you want to be careful when taking it out, but this is what it looks like. It's nice and dry. They flip nicely and the pages are stuck together. Very nice. So we're ready for the cover. And I already made the cover like this. So what you want to do is get a piece of scrapbook paper or anything. I just used my box of scraps and I just used this brown one. You can use whatever you want. 
but I just used the, the brown one that I had there. Okay, so I'm gonna do it with this paper to show you how I did it. But I got my book and I just marked, just marked the spine of the book and I'm going to just kind of score it like this and then make sure the edges are just nice and crisp. Do that with your finger or a ruler, whichever you want. Okay, so then when you kind of fold where they were scored, then it, you get the spine like this. And now I'm just going to cut it straight. This isn't going to be the best, but I'm just giving you an idea of how to make the the cover. But you, when you create the spine of the journal, it fits nicely like this. So that's how I did it. I'm just gonna save that back in my box. But that's how I made the spine of the journal with this. So you see, like this. And I'm just gonna give you the measurements of, of the width of the spine. So let me show you. Almost a centimeter, you know, closer to half a centimeter. So you guys can go by that and create it if you want. But that's how I made mine. And now we're just going to get our Mod Podge. So we're just going to apply the glue to the spine of the, the book here. Try not to get glue anywhere else. You can try your best, but. Like that. If you want, you can apply the glue straight to the booklet, which I'm going to do just to give it more glue. And also so that the book itself has extra glue on it. If there were any pages that weren't very secure, now this extra glue will help with that. Now I'm just gonna place the booklet on top like this and don't close it. I'm going to be leaving the book like this. This is how I'm gonna glue it. I'm just gonna stay here for a while until it dries. That way you don't get any glue anywhere else. You can clean up the edge if you want. Just gonna get a piece of paper and just kind of clean this part up a bit. But I'm just going to leave it like this so that I don't get glue anywhere else on the booklet. So I'm gonna stay like this for a bit, watch some videos, you can do whatever you want, um, and I'll be right back. All right, so this finally finished drying and I did put a little too much glue, which is why it's showing up like this on the sides, but that's fine, I don't really care. But this fit really nicely in with the book. I really like the way it came out, but this is what the little sticker book looks like. And it came out really, really good, you guys. I love the way it came out. And this is the second one that I made. I kind of made it differently. It does look more snug than this one, but I created it differently. When these pages were still not completely dry, I already like started applying it or like sticking it to this. Um, but I don't know which technique I liked more. I think this one, I don't know, I think I prefer just waiting for this to dry first before putting it on here just to make sure that these pages are actually glued well together. Um, so I like the way this technique better, but this is what they look like and I'm just going to try to peel one off. So this is a mistake I made from the first time I made it, but this I'm going to rip a page from the beginning and then one in the middle to see if it works. <laughs> Okay, so that worked and I'm so happy about that, you guys. Oh my God, I'm so excited to use this for my journal spreads now. Now you can make whatever sticker books you guys want, um, but you kind of have to pull it a bit to make sure it comes off and that's good because it means that the glue is is on there very well. Sometimes I have sticker books where like I'll peel one off and then like pages in the middle will start to come off. So that's kind of, you know, annoying sometimes. So I'm going to pull out this one, which is in the middle of the booklet to see if any of the ones on the top will come off. <gasps> okay, that fell. So that worked, guys. None of the other pages came off. Okay, I'm gonna try another one just to see this little car one. Okay, that worked so well, you guys. I'm so happy about this project. I love the way it came out and everything's still intact. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this, you guys. Yeah, so this is another way you guys can have your little sticker books. Sometimes sticker books can be expensive. Um, so you can make your own. And these are so fun to do because you can make sticker books uh, from whatever you want. Maybe you can make an animal sticker book, a floral one, a vintage one. But I love the way that this one came out. And I'm so excited about this.
I loved this project and I was so excited to make it and I'm so glad it came out very nice and that it worked well um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you guys go ahead and you try doing this again i'm gonna leave the link down below where you can download these cutouts that i put together it'll be free download for you guys so you guys can make your own sticker book um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you on my next diy bye guys